السلام عليكم طلاب ان شاء الله نبلش بمحاضرات spinal cord and motor cortex uh, we have two lectures for spinal cord reflexes and then we will start talk about the motor cortex and the motor parts and first of all we will have uh, this lecture as an introduction uh, of the first part of spinal cord reflex okay so the objectives of the, this lecture we are going to talk about the reflex arc what we mean by reflex arc, uh, the types of reflex arc, okay? And also we will talk in details about the uh, types of uh, spinal cord reflexes and we will specify uh, 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 the talk about the stretch reflex specifically and we will take uh, uh, its components in details and also talk about its physiology uh, in so many details, okay? حتى نفهم نقصد بال um, reflex arc and uh, the components of the reflex arc and the uh, physiological aspects of uh, uh, each of these uh, uh, components, okay? Okay, so there is what's called bell magandi law, okay? We talked about this and we remember what is uh, in the dorsal or posterior root it's considered as uh, sensory Okay, this is in the spinal cord, and what is in the ventral roots considered as pure motor. وهذه إذا نذكرها الإيمج اللي أخذناها بالسبينال كورد نذكر إن ال 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 view الفتشيل الكام posterior or dorsal uh, dorsal root can pure sensory. It is the relay station for the sensory information. Okay, and what's in the ventral aspect in the ventral root? This is only motor. This is only motor integrating part. Okay, this is in the spinal cord. Okay, now what is the reflex arc? Uh, simply the reflex arc, it is the pathway for the signals to pass uh, from the site of stimulation, uh, passing through the spinal cord, and then goes to the muscle to allow the reflex to uh, act. Okay, so this is the reflex arc. Then هو عبارة عن ممر or pathway يحبر بعدة أماكن حتى يوصل للعضلة ويسوي الرفلكس reflex contraction or reflex action. نتيجة للأكشن نتيجة للستيميليشن so stimulation and an action this is the reflex arc فالمهم إحنا نشلن نعرف هنا بهاي المحاضرة لازم نعرف the components and the parts uh, in the body through which these uh, uh, nerve signals pass through okay it is started by stimulation okay نرجع لنفس uh, 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 موضوع الستيميليشن والسنسر الستيميليشن اللي أخذنا بالسنسر nervous system and as we said, when there is a stimulation, there should be receptors. So it is started in the uh, 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 peripheral aspects in the muscle. Okay, there will be signals started by a stimulation. راح نفهم شنو يعني stimulation in the muscle. The receptors send these stimulations by propagation of action potential, and then ascend uh, through the nerve endings or the sensory nerve endings or the nerve fibers. اللي أيضا حكينا عليها سميناها بالأفرنت نيرفز. أو الأفرد سيجنالز الصاعدة بس هنا الفرق شنو ما راح تصعد إلى ال higher center أو إلى الكورتكس no the integration and the processing of this information if جاي من الستيميليشن it will be uh, it will take a place within the spinal cord راح يعتبر ال ال center الأساسي integration of this information of the reflex within the spinal cord راح يصير بيها uh, uh, processing within the spinal cord okay and this is the segment of the spinal cord. Okay, and as we can remember, this is the dorsal aspect. This is the ventral aspect. Okay, and here we can see in the blue color is the where the, uh, 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 the station or where the uh, sensory nerves uh, or the afferent nerves uh, take a place and enter into the spinal cord. In a semina dorsal root, وبعدين تدخل إلى dorsal horn. حتى شيء يصير بيها integration و processing. راح يصير بيها ساينابس مع other neurons راح نحكيها بعدين ان شاء الله حتى بعدين ترسل الانفورميشن مرة ثانية بوساطة الافرنت نيرفز او الافرنت موتور نيرفز into the muscle اللي هي الافراكتور organ حتى يصير بيها الكونتراكشن فاذا بدينا من المصل وانتهينا بالمصل عبورا بالسبينال كورد وكانت العوامل المساعدة او الناقلة اللي صعبت الانفورميشن هي السنسري نيرفز واللي نزلت الانفورميشن هي الموتور نيرفز فإذا رح ناخذ كل واحد من هذه البارت ونحكي عليه in details حتى تكون الصورة واضحة أكثر إن شاء الله. 
اوكي قبل لا ندخل بتفاصيل اكثر هذا الرفلكس ارك هذا اللي تكلمنا عنه قبل شويه الا نوعين تو تايبس اوف رفلكس ارك اما الرفلكس ارك يكون مونوسينابتيك او بوليسينابتيك شنو يعني مونو شنو يعني بوليسينابتيك monosynaptic means that when the stimulation comes from the sensory uh, uh, parts or from the stimul uh, receptor part within the muscle and uh, start to uh, 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 send signals by the receptor to the sensory nerves and enter into the spinal cord, okay, here is the difference, okay, just uh, uh, pay attention. Let the signals to the spinal cord integrating center, okay, it will synapse with one motor neuron one efferent motor neuron and then pass along this pathway to the muscle. Then, اللي صار شنو انه فقط عندي one synapse between the sensory and the motor nerves within the spinal cord. Okay, so it's called monosynaptic. Only one synapse. Monosynaptic means one synapse. Okay, this is the monosynaptic. Okay, and uh, uh, to the target uh, cells or muscle حتى تسوي الاكشن مالتها, contraction مالتها. Okay. This is called what? This is called one synapse or monosynaptic. On the other hand, the polysynaptic means that when the stimulation uh, comes and uh, uh, sends the signals from the receptors through the efferent sensory nerves and enter into the spinal cord integrating center, here the difference. It will synapse with what's called interneurons. Interneurons, okay? And then the interneurons sign up again with the motor nerves, efferent nerves, to pass to the muscle to exert its action. Okay? But then the difference takes place within the spinal cord, uh, within the spinal cord, through what's called interneurons, communication between the sensory and the interneurons, and then the interneurons communicate with the efferent motor neurons. So it's called multiple synapses. Okay? Not only one synapse. Two synapses take place, but it's a polysynaptic. Okay, we'll start talk about the monosynaptic, and we will uh, talk about very important reflex, uh, uh, which we uh, expose uh, to it every day. It's called the stretch reflex. Okay, so stretch reflex is an example of the monosynaptic reflex. What we mean by stretch reflex? Stretch reflex means that when there's a sudden stretch of a muscle, صارت a sudden stretch on the muscle, a reflex اللي راح يصير شنو? is a reflex contraction of that muscle. Okay, and then stretch, it's a stretch, نتيجة uh, stimulation معين, صار عندنا stretch. The reflex, حتى يكمل the reflex art مالته, أو النتيجة اللي راح تصير على المصل, هي contraction of that stretched muscle. So our function, uh, or our job here as a physiologist, we need to understand uh, what is the physiological basis uh, of the stretched muscle, or the stretch of the muscle, and the contraction of the muscle, okay? And the details that take place between these two action uh, or between these two uh, uh, aspects, okay? Uh, so again, what are the components of stretch reflex? Okay, stretch reflex, it's a monosynaptic reflex or it's a reflex arc. So what are the components of the reflex arc in general? Uh, uh, when we say stretch reflex, uh, it is started by a receptor and we need to know the receptor type of the stretch reflex. Okay, <clears throat> the receptor type of the stretch reflex, it's called muscle spindle, <clears throat> sorry. And as you can remember uh, from the lectures of the sensory system, uh, we say that uh, we have a specific type of sense receptors within the muscles called muscle spindles and Golgi tendon, right? So the muscle spindles is the specific receptor types within the muscle for the stretch reflex, for the stretch reflex, okay? And the muscle spindles, it's called intrafusal. We will talk about uh, this uh, in the next few slides, inshallah. Okay. After the receptors, what we have? We have the nerve endings or the sensory nerve endings. It's afferent nerve endings. Okay. And it's have uh, 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 specific names called annulospiral and flow spray endings. Okay. Now just uh, know the names. Uh, I will show you the details uh, in the next slides, inshallah. Okay. After the efferent, these efferents reach into the dorsal root, what it called the spinal cord integrating center, اللي هو the spinal cord, اللي هي dorsal roots and the ventral roots, سربيناتهم communication or synapses. 
to send these signals to the efferent, okay, and we say that the tract reflex is a monosynaptic, so from the efferent to the efferent, efferent اللي هي motor nerves, okay, اللي هي اسمها معينة alpha and gamma, okay, we will talk about it, and then goes to the effector organ or target organ اللي هي again the muscle اللي صار بيها stretching حتى يصير بيها contraction اللي هي تعتبر extra effusal. So what is the intra effusal? What is the extra effusal? Uh, uh, we will see the differences in the next slide. So this is a simple histological view for the muscle. Uh, uh, the muscle composed of um, small, uh, 3 to 12 uh, uh, small uh, uh, muscle fibers attached to each other in the inner aspects of the muscle called intrafusal muscle fibers, in the muscle spindles. And then we have large, uh, outside located extrafusal fibers, and they had compiled to the intrafusal fibers, okay? And these extrafusal fibers attach to each other and to the tendon of the muscle to allow its contraction, okay? So then they are connected with the tendon and they are connected with each other in the end here, so that they help the movement or contraction of the muscle, okay? So the muscle spindles consist of 3 to 12 small muscle fibers called intrafusal fibers. Which are parallel to the extrafusal fibers uh, uh, and attached to it or to its tendon to allow the contraction of the muscle or the movement of the muscle. Now, each intrafusal fiber has. So let's imagine that we uh, uh, take only one uh, uh, muscle uh, uh, spindle or one intrafusal muscle fiber. Uh, uh, what is what's the component of this muscle fiber? شافوا إنه كل intrafusal fiber be two parts, be small, non-contractile, centrally located part, okay? هذا ال bulb like اللي يشبه ال ال bulb أو ال bulb, okay? This is non-contractile small part, okay? As you can see, and this part is non-contractile. What's the part that is attached to the sensory nerve endings? اللي يتصل be the nerve endings or nerve fibers, okay? Sensory nerve fibers. And have another peripheral part, okay, on each side of the central part. This is the contractile part, means all anal contraction, be actin and myosin filaments of the muscle. And you uh, should know these uh, 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 filaments and these parts of the muscle in the histology. Actin and myosin, which are responsible for the contraction of the muscle, Located in the peripheral part. So the peripheral part considered as contractile part, but the central part is non-contractile. The central part, it's attached to the nerve endings or innervated by the nerve endings. The peripheral part is contractile, contain the actin and uh, myosin filaments and also have motor endings or motor fibers responsible for the contraction. Now we say that it's contracted, so it should have motor fibers to allow its contraction and its elongation. Okay, here we have contraction here. So it's called gamma motor fibers. We will talk about it later, inshallah. So the important thing is that the central part is non-contractile. The peripheral part is the stretchable or is the contractible uh, part of the intrafusal fiber. So again, each intrafusal fiber has non-contractile central part. It's the receptor side that attaches the sensory nerve endings. And the peripheral contractile part on each side of the so, نكمل على الانترافيوزل. هذا الانترافيوزل أو الرسبتر بارت أو المصل سبندل عبارة عن نوعين. شنو النوعين حتى لا نخطأ أو حتى لا نخربط. إحنا قاعد نحكي على الانترافيوزل. هاي الانترافيوزل اللي هي central peripheral part اللي هي الرسبترز اللي هي المصل سبندلز بيها كل واحدة من هاي الانترافيوزل هي نوعين. إما تكون من نوع nuclear bag أو نوع آخر اسمه nuclear chain. شنو نيوكليير باك وشنو نيوكليير تشين؟ نيوكليير باك سموها بالاسم ليش؟ لان نيوكلياي احنا مو قلنا سنترال بروفرال بارت، سنترال بارت هو البارت اللي بي الاتاتشمنت مع النيرفز فاذا هو كونتين نيوكلياي كونتين نيورونز. سو هير ذي نيورونز اور نيوكلياي وذين ذي سنترال بارت ار ديستريبيوتد ان جروبس موجوده كلها بشكل جروبس داخل هذه البلب فيسمونها باك لايك نيوكلياير باك اوكي؟ This is the nuclear bag. بينما the nuclear chain شنو معنا؟ Nuclear chain معنا إنه distribution of the nuclei within the central part is in a linear or chain aspect or chain-like fashion. 
بالضبط يشبه التشين مترتبة واحدة بصف الثانية بشكل تشين فيسمون نيوكليير تشين إذا هذه التسمية تباعا distribution of the neurons or the nuclei within the central part or receptor aspect of the intrafusal part of the muscle spindle okay and uh, the usually the nuclear chain and nuclear bag are attached to each other okay هنا عبارة عن واحدة متصلة بالثاني فهذه nuclear bag شفت شلون الترتيب راح يكون nuclear bag in a bag or in a bag like fashion or in a group like fashion whereas the distribution of the nuclei within the nuclear chain type it's in a chain like fashion بشكل chain واحدة بصف الثاني okay we usually on each side اكو عندنا connection between the nuclear chain and nuclear bag types of the muscle spindles or the intrafusal fibers okay Now, the nuclear bag, uh, uh, it's also divided into two subtypes. This nuclear bag, the first one we talked about, is divided into two types. On the basis of what? The nuclear bag is either dynamic or static. Dynamic or static. This is on the basis of what? On the basis of response to stretch. Static means that uh, there is a stimulation for the nuclear bag uh, in response to a sustained stretching of the muscle. يعني لا زال اكو ستريتش موجود لكن سستين ثابت هذا يسمونه ستاتيك whereas the dynamic means that there is a sudden or the stimulation to a sudden change in the stretching okay like the jerk jerk movement من يصير عندنا في jerk movement so when there is a sudden change in the stretching of the muscle راح يصير عندنا dynamic response of the nuclear bag uh, 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 fibers okay whereas the nuclear chain fibers only respond to the static Uh, stimulation. فقط when there is a sustained uh, 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 stretching uh, stimulation راح يصير عندنا تحفيز للنيوكليير تشين. So nuclear chain only respond to a static type whereas the nuclear bag respond to a dynamic or a static stretching of the muscle. هذا a difference between the two, ty two types. Okay? So, للآن we finish the first parts of the reflex art or the stretch reflex components is the receptor. Okay, after the receptor, we say that receptor is connected to a nerve endings or connected to a, a nerve fibers. Uh, راح يصير connection? إذا تذكرون بالمحاضرات قلنا راح يصير عندنا stretch راح يصير عندنا فد, uh, uh, stimulation to the receptor uh, راح يصير عندنا propagation of action potential. Okay, uh, راح يصير عندنا هذا الشيء من راح يصير عندنا stretching of the muscle. Stretching is considered as a mechanical distortion on the muscle. So this will cause ion channel A change in the permeability. Sodium will enter into the cell. We start with sodium activation uh, channels. We start with the propagation of uh, 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 threshold. We will reach the action or reach the potential to the threshold. We start with the propagation of action potential. We will continue. We start with the transfer of this potential through the nerve fibers. We have the nerve fibers or nerves or the axons that are responsible for the electrical. activity اللي هو الاكشن بوتنشال فاذا هذا الاكشن بوتنشال من راح يصير بي ترانسميشن ثرو دي سنسري نيرف اندنجز اور سنسري سيجنال سنسري نيرف فايبرز لازم نعرف نوع السنسري نيرف فايبرز وهذه هم حكيناها بالسنسري نيرف سيستم فيزيولوجي وي سي ذات وي هاف ماني تايبس اوف سنسري نيرف فايبرز وقسمت على اساس الفيلوسيتي اوف كوندكشن والدايمتر اوف دي فايبرز وهذه كلها ماخذيها فلازم نعرف من الان نوع الفايبرز او النيرف فايبرز اللي هي لها علاقه بالمسل سبندلز او الستريتش ريفلكس. النيرف فايبرز او السنسر نيرف فايبرز within the muscle spindles it's of two types. اوكي؟ okay? as you can remember التيبل uh, اللي اخذناه بالسنسر نيرف سيستم فيسيولوجي we say that we have uh, two types of classification. واحد اسمه alphabetical قسم ال types of nerve fibers Uh, بالحروف الفابتيكال والثاني كان نيوميريكال اثنينهم نعطيكم اياهم uh, فعادة بالسنسري نيرف سيستم uh, مشينا بالالفابتيكال تايبس uh, هنا عادة التكست بوك uh, uh, تمشي بالنيوميريكال كلاسيفيكيشن يعني من تحكي على النيرف فايبرز اوف ذا ماسل سبندلز تتكلم عنها بصيغة النيوميريكال اللي هي 1 2 اند سو اون اوكي سو از يو كان سي ان ذيس تيبل هنا منطينا النمبر ومقابلها منطينا الفايبر تايب من نوع شنو من نوع الحروف فالمسل سبندلز نيرف فايبرز من يانوا 
يعتبر من نوع ال 1A اوكي اللي هو بارلل تو ذا اي الفا وايضا تعتبر من نوع ال 2 اللي هو الاي بيتا اوكي مصص بندلز سو مصص بندلز النيرف فايبرز مالتها اما 1A اور 2 1A اور 2 هذه لازم نحفظها 1A اور 2 اللي هي ريبريزنت اي الفا اور اي بيتا من اسالكم بالامتحان اذا سالناكم على السنسوري اللي اخذناها الثيرمال والبين والميكانيكال تحشوا لنا بالابيتيكال من اسالكم عبي المصل سبندلز تايبس او مصل سبندلز سنسوري نيرف فايبرز تايب راح نتكلم عنها ب 1A اند 2 اوكي فهذه لازم تحفظ هنا اوكي اوكي سو ذا انرفيشن اوف ذا مصل سبندلز النيرف فايبرز مالتها الافرنت اند افرنت راح نحكي اول شيء على الافرنت اللي هي سنسوري سنسوري افرنت آه آه اللي وين قلنا موجودة؟ موجودة بالانترافيوزال سنترال بارت، احنا مو قلنا عندنا سنترال بارت وبريفرال بارت، بريفرال بارت كونتراكتايل بياكتين اند مايوسين. السنترال بارت هو اللي يصير بي اتاتشمنت مع النيرف فايبرز، هو البارت مع الريسبتور، فنسميه سنترال بارت سبلايد باي تو تايبس، عندها تو تايبس اوف افرنت نيرف فايبرز. النوع الاول نسميه برايمري نيرف اندنجز او سميناه حسب التيبل 1A، شفتوا مكتوب عندنا 1A. So 1A is a monad primary nerve fibers, or in the name of another, is a monad annulospiral. Annulospiral. If the primary annulospiral 1A is all the same name, okay? This is a monad primary annulospiral. Why is the annulospiral different from the shape of the spiral? Okay, it's flat around the central part of the intrafusal. Okay, so the yellow color spiral-like shapes fibers are the types of Sensory nerve efferent fibers الموجودة داخل المصل سبندلز بالانترافيوزل فايبرز النوع الأول يسمينا 1A Okay So this type is fast in circle the receptor side or receptor area of both a nuclear bag and nuclear chain fibers هذا النوع موجود بالنوكلير باك و nuclear chain fibers Okay اللي هي nuclear باك و nuclear chain اللي هي المصل سبندلز أو الانترافيوزل receptor parts اللي حكينا عليه قبل شوية، أوكي؟ النوع الثاني نسميه سكندري أو نسميه جروب 2 أو تايب 2 أو نسميه فلور سبراي تايب، فلور سبراي تايب، أوكي؟ النوع الثاني إما نسميه سكندري، فلور سبراي تايب، أو تايب 2 نيرف فايبرز. هذا موجود فقط بالنيوكليير تشين فايبرز، فقط بالنيوكليير تشين فايبرز، وهذا شكله راح يكون شنو؟ راح يكون فلور سبراي لايك، أوكي؟ فلاور سبراي لايك الشيب مالته راح يكون بهالشكل هذا فلاور سبراي اوكي شنو معنى فلاور سبراي يعني مثل رذاذ او منظر الفلاورز او الزهره اوكي قاعد تشوفه مثل شكل الزهره راح يكون ماخذ الديستريبيوشن مالته على الانترافيوزال فايبرز او الانترافيوزال سنترال بارت فايبرز لكن هذا فقط موجود مع النيوكلير تشين ما موجود مع النيوكلير باك تايبس اوف Intrafusal fibers. Okay. So then, this is the type of the second. So we have to know its name and the name of its name. We all have to know it. Secondly, the type of nerve fibers is 1A or 2. And thirdly, there is a nuclear bag or nuclear chain. We have to differentiate. Now, both the primary and the secondary nerve endings, meaning the annulus spiral and the flower spray, or type 1A and type 2. Respond to a static response. هذه سبق أن ذكرناها شو نستاتيك. إن static معناها sustained stretch of the muscles. نير هم يصير بهم activation to the sustained stretch of the muscle. يعني يصير discharge while transmission of signals through the primary and secondary. لما يكون عندي sustained stretch of the muscle. Okay. However, the primary nerve endings, the annulospiral or type 1A, but not the secondary type, respond to the dynamic. Okay. إذن نير respond to static. لكن فقط <coughs> the primary أو type 1 A respond to the dynamic. لو شنو قلنا dynamic؟ مصر عندنا rapid uh, or sudden uh, change in the stretch of the muscle اللي سميناه بالجرك. أوكي؟ okay? اللي يصير عندنا التندن جرك. أوكي؟ okay? بعد شوية راح نحكي على الجرك. أوكي؟ okay? فإذا uh, static both types respond to static but only the dynamic uh, response take place فقط بال primary nerve endings. تنقل ال dynamic uh, uh, signals فقط The primary type, not the secondary type. Okay, so this is a different difference. We have to remember. Okay, we finished talking about the second part, which was sensory afferent parts. 
uh, after the septal and the sensory, we say that we will go to the spinal cord integrating part. After the spinal cord, we have the efferent motor neurons within the spinal cord and within the anterior root or the ventral root of the spinal cord, which is called the anterior motor neurons or anterior horn uh, motor neuron cells. And we have two types of anterior motor neurons. We have the alpha and we have the gamma. The alpha efferent motor neurons, it is the major, uh, the more uh, uh, sensitive parts or the more sensitive fibers that will uh, 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 send signals uh, in a 70% to the extrafusal muscle fibers to allow its contraction. And the second type called the gamma motor neurons that represent only 30% of the efferent signals intrafusal fibers will the extrafusal إذا تذكرون حكينا بالصورة قلنا ال intrafusal بيها two parts central non-contractile or peripheral contractile so the gamma motor neurons high 30% راح تروح إلى ال contractile peripheral aspect to allow its stretching حتى سو بيها stretching و ال uh, 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 action okay so the effect of gamma شنو وظيفة ال gamma هنا كإفرنت its main function to increase the sensitivity of muscle spindles to stretch دائما تحاول تقيس او تسوي مانجمنت للسنسيتيفيتي اوف ماسل سبندلز تو ستريتش اوكي لكن المين اكشن المين كونتراكشن يصير بالاكسترا فيوزل ان ريسبونس تو ستريتش اتس اكزرتد باي ذا الفا مينلي اكزرتد باي ذا الفا موتور انيونز اوكي اوكي از فاست ريفرشمنت اوكي راح نرجع نجمع الصوره كلها سويه از وي سيت here we can see the intrafusal fibers of muscle spindles or of the muscle and we say that we have two types of the intrafusal fibers we have the nuclear chain okay and we have the nuclear bag this is the nuclear chain this is the nuclear chain and this is the nuclear bag the nuclear bag it's the type where the central part of the uh, uh, receptor or of the intrafusal have a group-like fashion collection of the nuclei and this is the nuclear chain where the nuclei distributed in a chain-like fashion one adjacent to the other okay and both the nuclear chain and nuclear bag attached to each other at the end okay as you can see this is the receptor now the uh, innervation of the uh, muscle spindles located within the central aspect of the receptor Okay, central aspect within the nuclei. And here we have two types of innervation, primary and secondary. The primary, we say that this type called annulospiral because it is located in a spiral-like or distributed in a spiral-like fashion uh, along the central part of the intrafusal fibers, as we can see. And this is found in the nuclear back chain and nuclear, sorry, in the nuclear back type and nuclear chain types. As you can see, this is the uh, rings like uh, 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 lines الموجودة uh, باللون الأسود okay whereas the and this is called type 1A the second type of the sensory nerve endings called the flower spray endings flower spray endings ما مرسومة هنا لكن احنا ذكرناها انه موجودة وين موجودة فقط مع nuclear chain not with the nuclear bag okay هذا the second part now the uh, 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 second important thing is that the peripheral part of the intrafusal fibers contain the gamma motor neurons, gamma efferent motor neurons. Its function is to detect uh, the sensitivity of the muscle spindles to stretch. Okay, diamond how it half of the sensitivity of these muscle spindles to a uh, stretch of the muscle. Diamond to as the stretching. Okay, but then high. Uh, two important components of the okay هنا عندنا صورة حتكون أوضح this is the muscle okay and this is the extrafusal fibers extrafusal and here we have the intrafusal fibers intrafusal fibers شو هي intrafusal fibers as we can see this is the central part okay أرجع عيدها كل شوية حتى تبقى بالكم this is the central part okay and this is the peripheral part Within the central part, we have two types. We have the nuclear bag and the nuclear chain, okay? The nuclear bag and the nuclear chain types, okay? This is the nuclear bag and this is the nuclear chain. How the chain-like fashion, or how the in a group-like fashion, okay? 
and the then we have the nerve fibers as you can see the yellowish color spiral like uh, distributed nerve endings surrounding the uh, 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 surrounding the uh, uh, first type or surrounding the nuclear chain a uh, nuclear back sorry this is called the annular spiral annular spiral type okay and this is the nuclear back and this is the annular spiral okay and here we have the nuclear chain the nuclear chain you can see the bluish color uh, circles represent the nuclei distributed in a chain like fashion and it's the tray uh, uh, flower or flower spray endings اللي هي second type of the uh, sensory nerve endings الموجودة فقط مع nuclear chain type سميناها type 2 uh, uh, type 2 okay سميناها type 2 okay and also we have what we have the peripheral part here of the intrafusal we have the gamma motor neurons gamma motor neurons هذه اللي هي whitish color and within the extrafusal here within the extrafusal we have the alpha motor we have the alpha motor اللي هي represent the major type of motor neurons اللي راح تنتهي be a muscle to allow its contraction okay okay so this is example on the stretcher flex okay when we uh, uh, want to hold um, a specific weight or a specific load in our hand we have to flex the elbow okay and the action take place in the uh, biceps muscle how this reflex take place uh, there will be uh, uh, continuous discharges from the uh, or stimulation from the muscle spindles of the biceps muscle okay the receptors goes to through the uh, sensory nerve endings and then pass to the spinal cord and then uh, uh, attached or synapse with the motor neurons alpha motor neurons to go directly to the extrafusal fibers to allow its contraction so the stimulation is to stretch in the muscle and the uh, response will be contraction okay to hold the load now, if we increase the load in the hand, if we increase the load in the hand, we need to do more flexion here. So, we need more stretch on the muscle. I could change in the stretch. So, we need to get the muscle spindles to get more stimulation so that we can handle this load. So, what do we need Excess stimulation because the stretch is changed, okay? And then the uh, reflex will be contraction to restore the position of the forearm uh, and to uh, a flexion of the elbow to restore the position and to hold the load, okay? So if we have a change in the uh, degree of stretch, okay, so the reflex will be more contraction to hold the... Okay, now the types of uh, responses uh, of the stretch reflexes are of two types. If we have a uh, a stretch is dynamic and dynamic means uh, 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 changeable or um, يعني dynamic change a حركة مستمرة فمن صار عندنا هنا sudden rapid stretch change يعني هنا stretch ما يكون ثابت a sudden change in the stretch راح يسمونه dynamic stretch response وهذا اسمه jerk movement jerk يعني حركة سريعة وهذا اللي نشوفه من نسوي uh, tapping on a muscle by the hammer okay you know the hammer the instrument that used to test the reflexes of the muscles, deep tender reflexes, uh, it will cause a jerk movement because I'm inducing a, a, a sudden stimulation and it's cause a sudden change in the stretch, degree of stretch of muscle spindles. So the response will be a jerk, okay? It's a jerk movement. And this is the basis of tendon jerk. It's a tendon jerk, contraction followed by relaxation. Contraction followed by relaxation. So actually contraction muscle, we start by then relaxation. Let's just say relaxation with muscle after this jerk. I mean, I'm tired stimulation, or start sudden stretch, and that's a contraction. Why there will be relaxation after this sudden contraction? The relaxation takes place because when the muscle contracts, we know that when the muscle stretched, the muscle spindles will start being stimulation, or response will become contraction. So when the muscle contracts, it will be shortened. It will become حجمه أصغر, shortened. So the main specific stimulation وهذه كلمة لازم نفهمها to the muscle spindle is stretch. إذا muscle spindles will be stimulated only by stretch. فإذا إذا ما عندي stretch عندي shortening of the muscle. فإذا there will be what there will be no further discharge uh, 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 from the sensory nerve endings, no stimulation. 
from the muscle spindles to the sensitive endings and no contraction will take place. So the muscle will relax. لأن the muscle spindles تتحفز فقط للستراتش. وهذا ما يعتبر ستراتش. هذا يعتبر shortening. فبالتالي راح يصير عندنا relaxation after contraction. فإذا السلسلة راح تكون السيكونس راح تكون بداية by uh, stretch صار عندي sudden stretch by the tapping of the uh, uh, by the hammer on the muscle هذا أدانا إلى stimulation firing و action potential as we mentioned وأدى إلى contraction of the muscle extrafusal fibers by the alpha motor fibers after contraction the muscle will be shortened so if it's shortened this will not cause stimulation further to the muscle spindles so it will relax the muscle will relax no contraction after that will take place so it's called contraction followed by relaxation okay the second type called the static stretch reflex or static response static means what there will be a sustained mild contraction of the muscle in response to a minimum uh, a continuous uh, stretch response so at rest at rest, as into guarding at rest, mark of it's heavy exercise or heavy uh, action uh, you're doing on. So there is a continuous uh, firing from the muscle spindles uh, by a linear aspect. If it's kulish qalil, okay, this will cause a sustained mild contraction. And this is the basis of what's called muscle tone. Muscle tone means the tension or the, sorry, the stretch of the muscle take place at rest or the contraction of the muscle in response to stretch during rest situation this is called muscle tone so the basis of the uh, uh, dynamic response is the tangent jerk this is a sudden change in stretch and cause a jerk sudden contraction of the muscle whereas the static this is the linear or minimum uh, uh, contraction in response to mild stretch during rest okay okay let's take an example of a uh, stretch reflex that's initially that's usually you have to do uh, in the medical world when you examine, uh, 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 when, you do, when you perform the neurological examination. It's called the uh, knee jerk or the jerk examination or reflex examination. Okay, let's understand the basic uh, aspects, uh, basic physiological aspects of the reflex hammer or tendon jerk or knee jerk specifically, okay? And it's very important because it's going to give an idea about the whole uh, reflex arc components, whether uh, they are normal or not. So let's uh, uh, find the uh, basis of this reflex. Okay, let's suppose this is the uh, this is the knee. Okay, and we are doing very important part of examination in the neurological examination, uh, which is what's called reflex examination. Okay, and here we are using the small uh, instrument called the hammer. Okay, we tapping on the muscle, and we will see the response. So when we do a tapping on the muscle, uh, this will cause a sudden stretch of the muscle, and of course because the main stimulation is stretch, so the stimulation will take place on the muscle spindles. It will cause the stretch. Okay, as we said. Muscle spindles stretch and start to fire, and the action potential propagated and transmitted through the sensory nerve endings, okay, to reach to the spinal cord, okay, integrating center, where it will synapse with the motor neurons, mainly alpha motor neurons, to go directly to the muscle to allow its action. The muscle that the alpha motor neurons goes to, it's the same muscle that we do tapping on, which is the quadriceps muscle, that main action is to cause the extension of the knee. The knee will be contract and causes swinging lower leg forward. Okay, leg will be swing forward. tapping on the patella specifically, on the tendon of the quadriceps muscle, sorry. And this will cause the contraction. extension of the knee. Uh, forward and this is simply the dynamic knee jerk or dynamic stretch reflex okay so in summary what are the functions of muscle spindles muscle spindles is going to uh, send information through the spinal cord to the cns to keep informed it about the changeable muscle length the rate of velocity of change in muscle length uh, spinal cord uh, specifically 
about the degree of a stretch or degree of length change. هي مو سعدنا stretch بس سعدنا length change يتغير طول العضلة. فدائما تنطي إعازات يا بتر طول العضلة تغير تحتاج إلى response معين. It also acts to maintain muscle length against structure. It's very important because it's going to give this stimulation to allow this the the main response to take place. حتى لا يصير عندنا excess stretch وبعدين يصير عندنا rupture or tearing in the muscle. Okay, it's going to monitor the muscle length and prevent over stretching of the muscle. حتى لا يصير عندنا over stretching راح يصير the main specific contraction of the muscle حتى لا تستمر بالستراتش وتستمر باللنكتنج وبالتالي يصير بيها risk of rupture and what's called damping function اللي هي smoothing muscle contraction نتيجة هذا الستراتشنج راح يصير عندنا smoothing of the contraction ويؤدي إلى good contraction of the muscle ما يصير عندنا over contraction so it's going to control the stimulation in order to perform a smoothing of the contraction okay these are the main functions of the muscle spindle Okay, let's refresh your memory. We have uh, a small question here. In a muscle spindle receptor, which type of muscle fiber uh, is responsible for the dynamic response? What did we take? Extrafusal muscle fiber, smooth muscle fiber, nuclear chain or nuclear back fibers. Okay, yes, the dynamic response. We will have to take from nuclear back fibers. This is written in the lecture. Okay, what do we mean by this procal inhibition uh, uh, reflex? Now, with the stretch reflex, uh, we have what's called reciprocal inhibition. Reciprocal means what? It uh, means that there will be uh, uh, two action or two muscles uh, act at the same time. One will be contracted and one will be relaxed. Or one will be stimulated and one will be inhibited. This is called reciprocal. Reciprocal is not only stretch reflex. No, uh, we will hear this word in the second lecture also. And other type of reflex. For sprocal, how do you mean? It means that two muscles antagonistic each other. One will be contracted, one will be inhibited or relaxed. So in case of stretch reflex, the agonistic muscle will be contracted, and the antagonistic muscle, the muvada, will be inhibited. For example, contraction of biceps associated with inhibition of the triceps. خلينا نفهم يمتى يصير sprocal inhibition within the stretch reflex, specifically مع stretch reflex. Okay, so the antagonistic muscles, منو هما اللي واحدة الأكشن مالتها عكس الثاني. يعني لما يصير عندنا flexion of biceps, contraction of biceps by the biceps muscle. Okay, this will cause a flexion. At the same time, triceps will relax, and this is called reciprocal. And when the triceps is extended and act, the biceps will relax, so there will be extension. فإذا هذا معنى كلمة reciprocal. Okay, هذه معنى. شلون يصير هو الاسبروكل يعني الميكانيزم مالته؟ الامبلسز فروم ذا ستريتشد ماسل صار عندنا ستريتش للماسل الامبلسز راح تروح سبانال كورد اند ذيس ويل كوز وات؟ ستيميليشن اوف ذا الفا موتور نيورونز حتى يصير كونتراكشن اوف ذا ستيميليتد ماسل. بس ات ذا سيم تايم ذير بي كولاترالز راح ترسل ايضا اعازات اخرى تو ذا انتر نيورونز لازم عندنا هنا انتر نيورونز انهبيتري انتر نيورونز with the that will be synapse with the anterior horn cell or the anterior horn, anterior horn motor uh, uh, neurons of the antagonistic muscle to inhibit its action. Okay, يعني نفس الوقت راح يصير عندنا monosynaptic مع polysynaptic reflex at the same time حتى يصير reciprocal. واحد يروح directly وهذا الشيء مثل ما حكينا أثناء اللكتشر إنه muscle spindles, sensory nerves, spinal cord, motor nerves, muscle will contract. But at the same time راح توصل للspinal cord اكو امبلسز اخرى هاي السنسر نيرف اندكس راح تدخل بالدورسال روت يصير بها ساينابس مع اذر انتر نيورونز حتى يصير بها ساينابس مع الموتور نيورونز الالفا موتور نيورونز حتى يصير انهبيشن تو اتس اكشن المن للانتاجونستيك ماسل اوكي هذا الايفنت يمتى يصير يصير اثناء الريفلكس اكزامينيشن او الهامر اكزامينيشن از وي سيد ذيس از ذا ني وي ار دوينغ ذا هامر اكزامينيشن ستريتش ويل تيك بليس اون ذا ماسل Muscle spindles stretch and fires, send the uh, signals through the sensory nerve endings to enter to the spinal cord and then back again by the alpha motor to allow the contraction of the quadriceps muscle to uh, exert its action, the swinging or the extension of the knee. At the same time, now we have the difference. At the same time, we can see that the sensory nerve endings when enter the spinal cord to the the gray matter and to the anterior. Horn, it will synapse with another interneurons connecting the neurons 
to hyaluronic plaque, as you can see. And these interneurons are an inhibitory interneurons. The transmitters are hasar biha secretion na hi inhibitory transmitters. Hatta tsawi inhibition to the postsynaptic membrane. Hatta la sarna fuk excess stimulation. Sarna bil hakis inhibition. And it will synapse with the motor neurons that will goes to the hamstring muscle. راح تروح إلى الهامسترينج مسل اللي هي الانتاجونستيك مسل اللي الكوادريسبس هامسترينج مسل which was responsible for deflection of the knee. Okay. راح تروح تقولها يا بي relax don't do contraction حتى يصير المين اكشن is extension وماكو افلكشن. So the hamstring will relax allow only extension of the knee of the leg and this is the basis of the sprocal. أثناء الوقت أو the same time صار عندنا contraction of a muscle Relaxation of the antagonistic muscle. This is called reciprocal. Okay, clear? Now, stretch of an innervated muscle will evoke. شون راح يصير عنا بالstretch? Contraction of its spindles. No, the spindles will not contract. Contraction of its extrafusal fibers. Contraction of antagonistic muscle. Relaxation of synergistic muscle. Synergistic معناها نفس المصل اللي بيها الأكشن. So the choice will be B. Of course, if I start to stretch, the extrafusal fibers in the tissue will start to contraction. The spindles will start to contraction, just shortening. Okay, shortening. Okay. In summary, in this lecture, we talked about many things. In short, it will be just simple. It is simple, but it needs a little bit of practice. We talked about the reflex arc started by receptors, as we said. We know receptors are called muscle spindles. And it's aimed by the effector organ, which are the muscles. Muscle spindles, we talked about it in details. We talked about the sense receptors, and why sense receptors, nuclear bag, nuclear chain. Then we have the nerve endings. We say that we have primary and secondary. Then we have the anterior motor neurons, alpha, gamma motor neurons. And we also talked about the types of stretch reflex, whether dynamic or static. And we also uh, 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 took an example of the reflex. Stretch reflex by the hammer, which is called dynamic and jerk reflex. Okay, we and we also talked about the static, which is called the rest state. We said the minimum contraction to minimum stretch or sustained stretch may be changeability, which is the basis of what's called muscle tone. This is all about this lecture. I hope it's clear for you. I'm ready for any question, and thank you for listening.